Hey everyone, welcome back to Sparkle with Sophie. Today I'm going to be doing my AM and PM skin routines. Okay, so firstly, just a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a beautician, I'm a professional performer, I've been working with Disney Cruise Line for the last three years and I have hideous acne and I've always had acne prone and spotty skin. Okay, and I went on Raxane, a really high dose for five months and then have had a very intense skin routine since then and luckily, as you can see even though I'm wearing makeup, it has really cleared up and I suffered it very badly on my chest and my back and that is also gone. So, can I get an amen? So we're just gonna go through my skin routine, what I do on a regular, even when I've been doing shows with a face full of makeup, going on nights out with a face full of makeup, and what I do just to keep my skin looking great. Also, I am wearing my makeup from my super easy makeup tutorial, so make sure you check that out. Okay, so AM. The first thing I do when I wake up is wash my face with water and this cleanser. So I use the pH formula range. You can get that from a doctor and a medical professional who works with this company and they sell it. So this is pH formula. It's an exfo cleanse, which means it's an exfoliating cleanser and it has fruit enzymes that help remove like the dirt and the gunk and the junk from the skin, but without using harsh chemicals and little micro beads, which are really bad for your skin. So just stay away from that. So the Exfo Cleanse has fruit enzymes in it and that's what I use. I leave it on for a minute, wash it off. Then I go in with my Vitamin B Moisturiser. It's 5% niacinamide. And look, this is <laughs> my one which is nearly empty. It's brilliant, not just because it's anti-acne and it's very light, which is amazing for before I'm putting a face full of makeup on. But... It's just amazing. It's just my favourite product in the whole world. It just stops me from going red. That's what it is. It's really anti-redness. And I find being very pale, and obviously, like I said, being a performer who's often running and jumping around, my face goes bright red. So this really combats that, which I appreciate. I then go in with my... Oh, let me tell you about this product. This is beautiful. This is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. It's un believable. I used to suffer with quite purpley dark parts of my eyes just underneath here and this has been my saving grace. Let me tell you. Just so brilliant. It really honestly does brighten up underneath the eyes and you can see what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Just a little cream and it smells citrusy. It smells like oranges which is always a good thing. So I put that on just underneath my eyes and then I go in with Come Rain or Shine every day without fail, one of my sun creams. Now it depends what I'm going to do. If I'm not going to wear makeup, I will wear the Helio Care. This is incredible. So this is the Helio Care 360. It's the gel oil free, which when I had acne, this is what I got from the dermatologist. It's such a good product. It's a little bit tacky, so it's not what I like to wear if I'm going to put makeup on. But this is brilliant if you're just going out to the shops and you don't want to wear makeup or you're in quarantine and you're sitting at home. This is brilliant. Absolutely amazing product. However, if you are going to wear makeup, Skin Suiticals is your girl. So, this is SPF 50. You always want to use SPF 50. This has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide because it is a mineral sunscreen, which is very important. And it's beautiful because it's quite thin and runny, so I feel like it provides an amazing base for makeup. So, definitely check this out. So, that was the Helio Care, and it's the Skin Suiticals. But whether it's sunny or it's raining or it's windy, you should always put sun cream on because honey, those beans are going to get you and when the beans get you, you're going to get wrinkles. And don't forget, this is the Lip Sleeping Mask. Let me tell you about this. Oh my goodness. You don't have to sleep in it like it says I wear it all the time. It's beautiful. Really nice colour. Smells again lovely, smells like strawberries. And you just pop it on and it really hydrates your lips, especially in the winter. Mine chap, like there's no tomorrow. And also a tiny bit of this, just in the centre, just before you're about to do the rest of your makeup, then your lipstick is a beautiful primer. So remember that. Okay, 
nighttime. So personally, I always think my nighttime skin routine is the most important thing because by the end of the day, I'm caked in makeup. Absolutely face covered in makeup. So I need to get that off. I need to get rid of all the dead skin, the sweat, the junk that's built up throughout the day and then prep my skin to go to sleep. So I always start with this bad boy, Cetaphil. So this is your gentle skin cleanser. This is dermatologist tested. This is non-comediogenic. This is one of the best products I've used. So I do a couple of pumps, rub it all over with water and it starts to like make the makeup disintegrate, dissolves off the face. I go in with another couple of pumps, do a second one because it's very, it's got minimalistic ingredients in it. So it's brilliant to just get the junk and the bulk of the makeup off your face. Then if I've also got lots of eye makeup on, I'm going to use the LMS Collagen Balm. It's fantastic because it really melts off the makeup from the eyelids. So if I show you just here, you can see it's quite a thick balm and it really does just a tiny bit on both eyelids, rub that right off and it just melts the makeup off. Which when you've got a sparkly smoky eye with a cut crease, this is your best friend. So then I go straight in with my cleanser once more. Really, really important. Again, pH formula from my doctor who stocks this product. I do that for one minute. Unless I've really had a heavy day and my skin isn't feeling great, I can leave it on for a 20 minute mask and then wash it off. So it's really important you do your cleanse. And then I go in with my best friend. This is my Vita A 1.5% retinol complex cream. So I put it on just a tiny bit, like a very light moisturizer, but it does have the retinol in it. Now the retinol helps your skin to turn over. And obviously if you're getting spots, you want that to turn over so you can get rid of those as quickly as you can and to prevent wrinkles. So really important that you have something like this. Well, really important that I use it because I do find that I have very spot prone, acne prone skin. And then, if I put that on and then I've just got some nice boils brewing, this is one of the best products to put directly on those. Yes, this is a Rush Posey Aphasic Cloud Duo. I love it, so if I've got just a big spot like I did have one underneath this makeup, and I just, if I put that before I go to sleep, directly on that spot, it goes. However, however, for the people who have very sensitive skin, I wouldn't go near this product because I found it before. If I get it in other places, like I tried to spread it once down here, it actually peels off my skin. So I wouldn't go near this. And then you want to go back with your eye cream, your banana bright eye cream. This is a girl's best friend. I'm telling you, so gorgeous. Love it. And then I always top up with my lip sleeping mask. You just can't beat this product, honestly. I love it. And then, like I said before, I was getting acne all over my chest and my back. So what I like to use to keep those spots at bay, because you know, I still go to the gym, still performing, still sweating, is I use the Glycolic Toning Acid. Yeah, it's 7% and it's from The Ordinary. I don't think it's even very expensive. I wanna say it's under $10, which is brilliant, or in England, you know, it's under 10 pounds, so it's wonderful. And I just put it on my hands or on a cotton pad. I put it all over my chest and on my back and it really does keep those spots at bay. As you can see, I have a little scar right here from a mole removal, but other than that, it's all clear. So those are my basic things that I use. Those are my everyday AM and PM skin cleanse. So just to go over, always cleanse your face, morning and night. Always take off your makeup. Always, always, always. And if you're suffering with spots, make sure you get good products. You don't want something that's going to be too harsh on your skin and start burning it off. And always go and see a doctor or a specialist. Definitely. But that's my skin routine, my morning and night time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you for more Sparkle with Sophie.